As you can see, I've already got my clips on the timeline, but we don't have a transition yet. We're going to make one. Right click here, new adjustment layer. Now let's cut the adjustment layer five frames to the left and do the same for the right side, so five frames to the right, total of 10 frames for our adjustment layer. Delete the excess parts and bring the playhead in between the clips. Go to effects and presets, search for transform and add it to the adjustment layer. Here, make sure to uncheck use composition shadow angle and set the shadow angle to 360 to get the maximum amount of motion blur. Then create a keyframe for scale, press U to reveal the keyframes and move that keyframe to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Create another one and drag that keyframe to the end of the adjustment layer and set the scale to 300 for the middle point. Then select all the keyframes, press F9 and go to the graph editor. Here we need to adjust the graph editor accordingly to get the smoothest and the snappiest animation. Just repeat my steps and give this graph a curve like this. Once you do it, exit the graph editor and you're ready to preview our transition. Most people will be satisfied with how this transition looks already, but we're going to give it more motion blur. Search for the effect direction of blur, add it to the adjustment layer, then move the playhead in between the clips, go to effect control, set direction to 90 degrees, create a keyframe for blur length, press U a couple of times to see the keyframes for direction of blur, move that keyframe to the start, create another one and move it to the end. Then for the middle point here, Increase blur length to however you like it. I'll set it to 100 and select other keyframes. Press F9 to easily ease those keyframes and let's preview it. So as you can see now our animation has a lot more motion blur to it. It looks more seamless. That was pretty much our tutorial. If you enjoyed, give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel because I post a lot of videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.